Very good, 361. Two home runs and seven driven in. Gets us going in the bottom of number one. Really like to have that uh, senior uh, type of team captain leadership in that leadoff position. Skied one left field. That's going back. McInerney looking at it. And the Bulldogs counter the Aggie home run with one of their own in the first. Third of the year for Adam Cobb. He went opposite field off the scoreboard. One to one. Much like Kyle Colligan, these two leadoff hitters, not only do they have good speed, make contact, good eye, but both of them have pretty good pop in their bat. Adam Cobb's third home run of the year. And I believe he only had two home runs all of last season. See here, the left-hander just gets good extension, that ball up. Any pitch, uh, these pitchers are gonna have to work down low in the... Back up the box, and we've got a tie ball game. Sweet piece of hitting right there. These Bulldogs have been growling in the first couple of innings. They've had five base hits off Keichel, who had given up none in his first outing over five and a third innings. That's a big knock, too. I love two out base hits. For some reason, just I think they really get to you. That's a little bit of a breaking ball that he just let. No, and they, they didn't really find it out until after the season. I'm not comfortable just thinking about it. <laughs> There's a shot into the gap. And Louisiana Tech will take its second lead as Jericho Jones delivers a single. All six base hits have been one base close for Louisiana Tech. And Jones gives... The boys from Ruston, a 3-2 lead over Arkansas. Well, a two-out base hit off a guy that you should have been a little more careful with. He pitched him pretty tough up to that pitch. That was down but not in nearly enough. See, he wants it. I think he wants it up and in. He got it down and in, and he he did a pretty good job. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty nice little stroke. He didn't scald the ball, but he got enough. Wonder who that was. Uh, that's interesting. He was the guy. He ran around backwards when he hit his 100th home run in the big leagues. Here's a drive deep to center. Ivner back, looking up, looking up. Kiss that baby goodbye. A two-run blast, 420 feet from the plate, off the bat of Chris Kirsten. Wow! Did he look like he hit the ball that hard? Well, when you're strong, you're strong. And the wind, of course. Good little gust blowing straight out to center field, but it didn't look like he did anything to this ball. He got the good part of the bat on it, but just check him out here. That just didn't look like a home run swing, but that bat jumped. That ball jumped off his bat. Kirsten now with three home runs, and get this, 17 runs batted in in seven. Pretty nasty little snake. Back to the fastball, and Louisiana Tech with the base hit with the bases loaded. Two runs score on Matt Combs' first base hit this afternoon. Had a good swing of that one, didn't he, with two strikes. Fastball out over the plate. Smoked it up the middle. Good speed on the base. Brand new ball game just like that. Jones and Goulder have scored. Still nobody out, and that was the last batter that Eibner will face. That pitch was right in the wheelhouse. Uh, yeah, that's bad location against a guy that's hungry for something. Need to keep that throw down in center field. That's Rosick out there. He wasn't going to throw him out. His first RBI this season could be a very big one. You betcha. We're in the eighth. Two to one after one, two to two after two, five to three Arkansas after three, six to three Arkansas after four. Chopped to the hole, it takes a Louisiana Tech bounce. And it's bobbled and left field. 
Hurston has scored. Here's the throw back to third. Safe on a close play. From glass, he's on anyway with a solid single to right. So that's the tying run aboard for Louisiana Tech. So here's Albie Golder. And he lines it sharply. It'll fall in front of Gisclair. And station to station are the Bulldogs. They've got him at first and Very second and one out. Since he got out there. Of course, he's pretty much been in a situation with people on base every time. 3-1 pitch hit to deep right field. Back, back, and gone. So Chris Kirsten with a three-run blast over the right field fence has given the Bulldogs a three-to-one lead.